Hey everybody, it's Goody Parade, and today I have three 28-inch dolls. I have a Skeleta from Monster High, a Madeline Hatter from Ever After, and a gorgeous ghoul. I also have my little Mini-Me here to help me out because these dolls are really big. In fact, Minnie, will you get Apple White over here? That is the size of these dolls. They are huge. All right, let's start with the green doll over here. Okay. She's got this gorgeous green skin and red hair. It says she has 23 fab pieces and she's a gorgeous ghoul and only at Walmart. This side of the box, it just says Monster High. There's a little window here and exactly the same on this side. These boxes are coffin-ish shaped. It does show that her eyes change different color. In fact, it says try me here push the back of my neck to change my eyes. So, you wanna do that, Minnie? Yeah. Okay. okay, are you ready to get her out? Yep. See, she's got this drippy heart monocle, some web fingers, these draw your own ghoul, wash, wipe, and repeat, and then this mask in this bell jar, and these little leg wrap things. She's got some pretty awesome shoes, some leg wraps herself, an outfit. She's got one of the webbed hands on already, and she does have these wings here, these glasses, and an ear headband. Here's the back of the card. Wow, she's pretty. Hot pink glasses and there's actual lenses in them that are clear. Right now she's got a blue and an orange eye, red lips, red and green, super Christmas hair, but in pigtails in the back. And then she's got this long wispy. It looks like it's attached to this little bolt barrette. And she's got this one piece dress on that does Velcro in the back. Here you can see where the wings go in. Here's the little button you press to change the eyes that we're gonna look at in just a minute. Here she has the one weird purple webbed hand. Not that crazy about it, but I do like the regular hand and I do like the wrist is articulated and the elbow and the uh, knot. Fake articulation. Her little dress has a little tool ruffle around the bottom. It looks like a regular Monster High body type, just 28 inch. And she has these leg cuffs and then these awesome red shoes, which I should hopefully be able to mix and match with my other dolls. It almost looks like she has a wig on because the hairline is here, but the hair starts after. She does have earring holes. Her eyes are really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna press the button here. Well, they're really all pretty. Nothing scary or spooky. I actually was kind of hoping for something a little creepy. I'm gonna try that on there. How about some wings? Oh, definitely. These are kind of like Rochelle, but purple. Or Create a Monster, if you ever saw those. With the eyes changing like this, these kind of remind me of the inner monster dolls. Here's the heart-shaped monocle, very operetta. Wow, that's really bright. <laughs> Are you gonna put glasses on top of there? Yes, gonna need some like there maybe to help her line. <laughs> like a headband. She's got like receding hair. Or Interesting. See if you can snap her webbed hand off so we can get the other regular hand on. Yeah. I found some earrings. Like a little faceted thing with a little purple skullette. 
Her monocle takes up one earring. Oh, let's take the monocle out. Let's take her glasses off and her headband off too for now. She came with these pens to Monster High. Let's see the pink one. Let's see what they look like. Oh. Do they smell? Oh, they smell. Like dry erase. Try it on her arm. You have to shake it out. And pump it. Get it going. Oh, there we go. There I got a little bit of neon. Which would look awesome in a black light. Gosh, is it even showing? I think I she can see it a little bit. I don't really get it. There's also these temporary tattoos that I'm not going to bother to put on her. I guess you could put like a little heart on her cheek or something. But I just did that two-headed styling head. And I just didn't like doing the temporary tattoos on my pretty doll. Here's some stickers that are fun. I think I'm going to save those for something else. Here's this cool mask. What looks like the bell jar that it's in is actually cut in half. <laughs> oh no. There's this cool relief on it with a skullette and a spider web there. Can she hold it? That's a good okay, idea. Here we go. Yep. Alright, let's try it on her. Oh. Whoa. That gives her a whole different vibe. I like it. What do you think? It looks kind of weird with her blue skin. Should we see if her glasses fit on over it? All right, let's see her legs and those leg things. Let's take this planty one off, which reminds me of Venus and also Poison Ivy of the DC Girls. But I like these metal looking ones. These remind me much more of Ever After High. And I guess this is what she has on her other ankle is this kind of armor for your heels, for your wedges. It's gotta be appropriate for weddings. Did you say it has to be appropriate for weddings? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh-oh. They don't just pop off. Go ahead and put the armor on. It's a pretty cool little design over the foot there. Pretty cute. And this dress kind of reminds me of a waitressing dress. Like that's an apron and... I don't know, like maybe she should be on roller skates at the drive-in. Not sure. Okay, I think that's about it for her. All right, Minnie, who's next? Her. Madeline Hatter from Ever After High. They did make a 17-inch doll of Madeline Hatter, so I think it's weird they chose to do the 28-inch doll. Here's the first side. I think the other side's the same, right? Yeah, yeah. They're really proud of those gold shoes. Yeah. Okay, pretty plain box. I actually kind of like it. Yeah, she doesn't have any goodies in there like the other ones, right? She's just a plain doll. Yeah. All right, you want to open her? Yep. All right, let's yeah. do it. And here is the back of her box. Alright, let's see what she looks like. She's got the big giant head and big exaggerated face with those big aqua eyes. And this aqua blue, well not even aqua, I don't know. It's kind of um, reminds me of Monster High Twyla. And she does have these big curls hanging down with the lavender going through it. Which in her picture she did have some curly hair, so they weren't lying. She does have some nice curls there, although it's in a ponytail that I suppose we could take out. Let's see the hat headband thing. It's like a little top hat with flowers. There we go. It's on pretty not so good. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the rest of her. Oh, her arm is kind of stuck. Rish. She is articulated at the wrist and elbows, and she has these black hands, so to look like she has gloves on, and then these little black bows that snap on and off that also look like they're part of the glove when they're pulled down. And this satin dress with little ruffles, a little tool around the bottom, little teacups all over it, because she is the daughter of the Mad Hatter, of course. And then she's got these amazing gigantic shoes which we saw all over her box and they actually are pretty amazing. I wonder if all of the shoes are hard to get off. Oh, it looks like it's attached to the heel. So I'm guessing the shoes don't come off. Kind of a bummer. 
Again, fake articulation at the knees. They don't really bend at all. They just look like they do. Bummer. Oh, interesting. So she's got gray legs and a skin colored torso. But she does have a pretty dress. On. So she didn't come with really any extra accessories. Let's try um, some of the Monster High off. Oh, this, these glasses probably will look cute on her. I like it. Let's see if the mask will go on her. I know she has a rounder face, but. Oh. oh. Creepy. Oh, she's gorgeous. Gorgeous? You like yeah. it? <laughs> what do you guys think, gorgeous or creepy? Creepy. <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. All right, we've got 28 inch Skeleta. It says she comes with 18 freaky fab pieces. She's got stuff loaded in there, just like the green ghoul had, but she doesn't have a mask with a bell jar. Box is almost the same, it has a locker vibe, but hers is Skeleta at the top where the other one was blank. This one also has little windows on the side and says Skeletus. The try me button and a pretty picture of her. You want to try me from the front? We'll see what it looks like. She goes from like brown. Oh, that's creepy. Is that a choice <laughs> or is that in between? In between. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I guess I like it. looks like Scara. All right, let's get her out. The background of her card is completely different. It has an Eiffel Tower there and a pebbly pathway, cobblestone street. <gasps> she's looking cute. Oh, she's got little braids. How very feminine and sweet. And she is in her little trademark outfit. Let's see her. Oh my gosh, the pigtails are not pigtails. Oh wow, look at that, how cute that is. It's twisted there. It's like a fake braid. That's really cute. Oh, and her beautiful makeup. I love her. She kind of reminds me of Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas if she just had a Sally dress on. And she does have her skeleton hands and bones. I can't wait to see what she's gonna look like under this dress though. And she's got a belt on. I love that there's an accessory. And this does look like a separate skirt and a separate top. Now, you know what? We're gonna have to just take it off because of the bones. She's got the skeleton bones on the bottom, which I love, and her awesome shoes. Amazing. You know, they did just make an Amazon special Skeleta, so I'm kind of wondering why they chose to do this of her, although I'm not complaining, I love it. Hey, let's look at her body. This is what I've been wondering about. <laughs> So she's skeleton all the way up here. This is interesting what they've done. They've put a plastic casing, hard plastic around her body. So she still has the form of a girl so she can wear all these amazing fashions. Wow, look at her back. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna take her belt on. Wow, it's like anatomy class right here. Look at that. So that does not come off, that's just part of her. So you can see the skeletons, but she can wear fashions. And let's see, Minnie's trying to show me something over here. What do you got? Oh, you've got the, the inner monster. Oh, she has a similar thing. Oh, that's right, where she has that clear body. And this one, you could open her up and then put different little emotions inside of her. Organs. I guess that would be cool if you could do that in here, but I don't care. I just think it's cool. Minnie, you wanna get her dressed again? So this dress is actually a whole solid dress that she could just wear this, which I like, cause then it kind of feels like she has a couple of outfits. That is really cute. Yeah, I'm loving the Skeleta. And of course, Skeleta came with her famous necklace. She's also got some uh, gargoyle wings here, and they are exactly the same as the other one, but now they're gray instead of purple. 
and she came with a blue pair of glasses so I'll be eager to try on and she came with some of these orange viney things which I'm kind of like whatever she did come with these really shimmery stickers and I love these because these definitely are Skelita they have that Mexican folk art flair to them she also came with these earrings that are identical to our green gorgeous girls. All right, you got her all dressed again? Mm -hmm. You wanna try the wings on her? Okay. <laughs> that actually looks cool. You know how you can see the bones in her back and then the wings coming out. I like that more than I thought I would. You wanna try her blue glasses on? Oh, that's cute. Let's switch her eye color. I really like her with her glasses. It keeps happening. Oh, is it stuck? Yeah. Or was your finger oh, halfway down? Okay. okay. Oh, she's got the uh, glow in the dark monocle. You want to try that one on? Wow. Are you going to put one earring in? <laughs> I kind of even like that more on her, too. I don't know why. Got little spider webs and drippies on her. All right, well, shall we compare them all? You got your hands full there, huh? Yep. They're huge. We'll do a poll. If you like Madeline Hatter or this gorgeous gal or giant Skeleta, which one's your favorite? I think I'm going to vote for Skeleta. Who are you voting for? The other one. You like the green one? The green one. All right, everybody, let us know which one's your favorite. And be sure to subscribe for future videos. Bye for now. Bye.